good day folks how's everybody doing today we're going to be having some fun with mr cornwall super duper everlasting oil and mr cornwall's creative colors and we have espresso here so here's the original sample that was done in the reels a while back uh, so this is approximately a ratio of one and a half tablespoons of pigment to a full nine ounce jar uh, that is just a generic controlled amount of pigment to the oil for the purposes of all these samples to keep them nice and simple but there is no exact amount of pigment to oil ratio that you have to follow this is fully in your control to adjust the depth and the richness or the lightness of the stain that you're trying to uh, achieve the color that you're trying to get so with that being said i'm going to show you some ways to get a darker color from the same pigment First, what we'll do is just simply double up the pigment. So I'm going to add another half a tea teaspoon into the one ounce of oil that I have in here that was used for this. And then we'll use that same mixture on the next board. And what we're gonna do is just simply water pop this piece. So uh, that's it. Double up the pigment and then one that's gonna get water pop. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we're just going to simply add another half a teaspoon of pigment into the oil, mix it up really, really well, and uh, apply with the uh, gray non-woven pad here. Okay, so that is the sample in which the stain is doubled and you can already see a substantial difference between the two. Beautiful, much darker, richer brown. Now it's time to water pop this piece and let's see what this one looks like. All right, this is all dried up. Let's get some stain on it. All right, and there is the water pop sample. Not a whole lot different than, oh yeah it is. So original sample, twice the amount of pigment, twice the amount of pigment, and then water popped. Full control of what you want to do with your depths and tones. So now I can take this mixture, um, reformulate it back to the original um, dilution or solution. And then I could make this lighter. I could either add a little bit more oil to lighten it up or I could sand to a higher grit. Really, the possibilities are endless for the tones and colors uh, that you want to achieve. And then you can actually get uh, adding in different pigments in with that and then create even more of a variety of colors. So pretty awesome. 